After decades of service, the U.S. Navy is finally replacing its C-2 Greyhounds, the primary aircraft in charge of making urgent deliveries to aircraft carriers around the world with the CMV-22 Osprey. The new replacement looks almost exactly like the MV-22 that the U.S. Marines have been using for a while, but just a bit chubbier on the sides. However, the Osprey has a history of crashes and bad accidents. Considering this, is the Navy making the right decision by replacing the C-2 Greyhound with the Osprey? Or is this another disaster waiting to happen? The C-2 Greyhound has been a cornerstone of U.S. Navy logistics since the 1960s. Serving as the primary aircraft for carrier onboard delivery missions, this twin-engine high-wing cargo aircraft has played a crucial role in keeping aircraft carriers supplied and operational even in the most remote corners of the world's oceans. Designed specifically for the challenging environment of carrier operations, the C-2 Greyhound is capable of carrying up to 10,000 pounds of cargo or 26 passengers. Its primary mission involves transporting critical supplies, spare parts, mail, and personnel to and from aircraft carriers at sea. The Greyhound's ability to operate from both land bases and carrier decks has made it an invaluable asset for maintaining the Navy's global reach and operational readiness. One of the C-2's most notable features is its folding wings, which allow it to be stored efficiently on space-constrained carrier decks. The aircraft is equipped with a rear cargo ramp and door, facilitating quick loading and unloading of supplies and personnel. Its rugged design enables it to withstand the harsh conditions of carrier operations, including catapult launches and arrested landings. Throughout its long service life, the C-2 Greyhound has undergone several upgrades to enhance its performance and extend its operational lifespan. However, as the aircraft approaches six decades of service, the Navy has been compelled to seek a replacement that can meet the evolving demands of modern naval operations. The U.S. Navy decided to replace the C-2 Greyhound with the Osprey for several reasons. As a tilt-rotor aircraft, the Osprey combines the vertical takeoff and landing capabilities of a helicopter with the speed and range of a turboprop airplane offering unprecedented flexibility in naval operations. The Osprey's most distinctive feature is its pair of large pivoting rotors. These rotors can be positioned vertically for helicopter-like takeoffs and landings or rotated forward for efficient high-speed cruise flight. This unique design allows the Osprey to operate from a variety of platforms, including aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships, and conventional runways without the need for catapults or arresting gear. In terms of performance, the CMV-22B boasts impressive capabilities. It can carry a payload of up to 6,000 pounds internally or 15,000 pounds externally, though this is less than the C-2 Greyhound's internal capacity. However, the Osprey compensates with a significantly longer range, capable of flying over 1,300 nautical miles without refueling. This extended range is achieved through additional fuel tanks integrated into the aircraft's sponsons. The Osprey's versatility extends beyond its flight characteristics. Its rear ramp and cargo bay can be reconfigured for various missions, from personnel transport to medical evacuation. Furthermore, its ability to hover and perform vertical landings enables the Osprey to deliver oversized cargo that wouldn't fit in the C-2 Greyhound, such as F-35 engines. While the Osprey's revolutionary design offers numerous advantages, it also brings complexities. The tilt rotor system requires more maintenance than traditional fixed wing or rotary aircraft, potentially impacting operational readiness. Additionally, the Osprey's unique flight characteristics demand specialized training for pilots and crew, adding to the challenges of integrating this advanced aircraft into naval operations. The U.S. Navy's decision to replace the C-2 Greyhound with the CMV-22B Osprey is a part of a broader strategy to modernize its carrier onboard delivery capabilities. This version aims to enhance the flexibility, range, and efficiency of naval logistics operations in an area of evolving global threats and distributed maritime operations. At the heart of this modernization effort is the desire to leverage the Osprey's unique capabilities. 
The Navy envisions using the CMV-22B's vertical takeoff and landing abilities to reduce the strain on carrier flight decks. Unlike the C-2 Greyhound, which requires catapult launches and arrested landings, the Osprey can operate without these systems, potentially increasing operational tempo and reducing wear on critical carrier equipment. The extended range of the CMV-22B is another key factor in the Navy's planning. The Osprey can support carrier strike groups operating at greater distances from shore base facilities. Versatility is also a crucial aspect of the Navy's vision. The Osprey's ability to be reconfigured for various missions opens up new possibilities for carrier operations. Beyond its primary COD role, the Navy sees potential for the CMV-22B in roles such as personnel recovery, special operations support, and even limited airborne early warning capabilities with roll-on, roll-off mission packages. Despite the Osprey's impressive capabilities, its selection as the replacement for the C-2 Greyhound has raised significant concerns within naval aviation circles and beyond. The aircraft's troubled history, ongoing technical issues, and operational limitations pose considerable challenges to its effectiveness in the carrier onboard delivery role. The Osprey's safety record is perhaps the most pressing concern. Since its development in the 1980s, the aircraft has been plagued by a series of high-profile accidents, earning it the infamous nickname Widowmaker. In July 1992, a devastating crash in the Potomac River claimed seven lives when one of only four prototypes of the aircraft plummeted into the water. This early tragedy was a sign of the challenges that lay ahead for the aircraft. Perhaps the most infamous incident in the Osprey's history occurred in April 2000 in Marana, Arizona. During a nighttime training exercise simulating a non-combatant evacuation operation, an Osprey carrying 19 Marines crashed, killing all on board. The investigation revealed that the aircraft had entered a dangerous aerodynamic condition known as vortex ring state. This phenomenon occurs when a helicopter descends too quickly into its own downwash, causing the Osprey to lose lift and plummet to the ground. The incident highlighted a critical vulnerability in the aircraft's design and led to significant changes in pilot training and operational procedures. Tragically, the year 2000 proved to be a devastating year for the Osprey program. In December, another crash in Jacksonville, North Carolina claimed four more lives. This incident was attributed to a combination of factors, including a ruptured hydraulic line and a software glitch that caused the aircraft to accelerate uncontrollably during descent. These back-to-back -back disasters in 2000 led to a temporary grounding of the Osprey fleet and intense scrutiny of the entire program. Despite efforts to address these issues, accidents continue to plague the Osprey. In December 2005, an Air Force CV-22 crashed during a training mission in Florida injuring five crew members. While not fatal, this incident further pointed out the safety concerns surrounding the aircraft. The Osprey's deployment to combat zones brought new challenges. In April 2010, an Air Force CV-22 crashed in Afghanistan, killing four service members and injuring 16 others. This particular incident raised questions about the aircraft's vulnerability in hostile environments. More recently, a string of accidents had reignited concerns about the Osprey's safety. In 2022, a crash in Norway during a NATO exercise resulted in four fatalities. Later that year, another Osprey went down off the coast of California, leading to the death of five Marines. The most recent tragedy occurred in November 2023 when a U.S. Air Force CV-22 crashed off the coast of Japan, resulting in the loss of eight service members. The accident led to the grounding of the entire Osprey fleet across all branches of the U.S. military, as well as Japan's ground self-defense force. Throughout its history, the Osprey has been plagued by various technical issues contributing to these accidents. Problems with the aircraft's engines, hydraulic systems, and the complex mechanics of the tilt-rotor system have all been implicated in various incidents.
The aircraft's susceptibility to vortex ring state remains a particular concern, especially in the turbulent environment around aircraft carriers where the Osprey is expected to operate regularly in its new COD role. The frequency and severity of these accidents have resulted in the Osprey having a much higher mishap rate compared to conventional aircraft. According to available data, the Osprey's mishap rate is three to four times higher than that of traditional transport helicopters like the Navy's H-60s and the Marines' CH-53 variants. This troubling safety record raises serious questions about the wisdom of replacing the reliable C-2 Greyhound with the Osprey for carrier onboard delivery operations. The high-stakes environment of carrier operations, where split-second decisions and absolute reliability are crucial, may be ill-suited to an aircraft with such a checkered safety history. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. See you on the next one.